Hey guys, uh, welcome to your new moon reading for Leo. Uh, so this is the new moon that's occurring in Pisces on March 2nd, 2022. Um, so we're going to take a look at what you guys need to know, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys could expect. You could apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Um, keep in mind that this could be in anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say, okay? Um, let's see. Um, you could apply this to your own unique situation. You could switch the roles if you want. It also could be a situation that you know someone that's going through this, okay? Also keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, if this message didn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Um, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post. Um, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Um, share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Um, also keep in mind these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular, and tapping into the collective Leo. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored to your own unique situations, to your energies, um, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Um, also a quick note that there is someone out there impersonating my impersonating me on Instagram. Uh, just be careful uh, not to get scammed, okay? Uh, I would never reach out to you on Instagram to ask you for money or anything like that, uh, nor do I own a temple. The only time I'm, um, uh, you know, talking about money or, you know, asking someone for money is when someone here, uh, when someone books a private personal reading with me and then personally emailing you to confirm payment, date, time, platform uh, being used for the reading. Okay, so if you guys could, you know, report this person, if you guys have Instagram, that would be much appreciated. I put up screenshots on the community tab on my, inst uh, not Instagram, on my YouTube page. Okay, so uh, we're going to uh, start with some Oracle messages and then we'll get into the tarot. All right. What does uh, Leo need to know regarding this new moon in Pisces occurring on March 2nd, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs? What does uh, Leo need to know? What can Leo expect regarding this new moon in Pisces occurring on March 2nd? We have observe. So this is about taking a step back, okay? Taking a step back and reassessing a situation here. So I feel like you're trying to find some sort of balance here. Um, you know, perhaps, you know, Leo, a lot of you guys might be meditating a lot, okay? You know, I feel like you might be getting a lot of messages, a lot of messages uh, from the universe, your guides and your angels, okay? Um, it's basically intuitive hits. You know, I feel like you guys are trying to raise your vibration, raise your consciousness here too, all right? So, you know, Leo, I feel like you guys might be doing a lot of spiritual work here. Uh, some of you guys might be healers or uh, light workers. Uh, what else do, do we have for Leo? What else do we have for Leo here? Regarding this uh, new moon in Pisces occurring on March 2nd. Okay. We have new, new moon in Taurus. You might have Taurus in your chart. Know your worth. Okay, and then we have first quarter moon in Libra. Keep your uh, keep your heart open. So this is your heart chakra right here. Yeah, and then we have first quarter moon in Pisces. Honor your feelings. This is the crown chakra again. So I feel like you guys are working on just being open and you know basically letting those energies around you sort of flow through you here because i feel like you're in this energy of feeling really connected and really opening yourself up okay um perhaps you're opening your, uh yourself up uh to open your uh, all your chakras i mean your your chakras should all be open and not closed up we have take action 
And then on the bottom of the deck, we have it's up to you. Yeah, I feel like you guys might be meditating a lot. Meditation brings answers, letting go. So it's up to you. I feel like you're taking action for yourself. Taking action for yourself to, you know, improve yourself here. Uh, to not let any bad energy sort of linger around or, you know, stay stuck and stagnant. Um, so, I mean, this looks really good so far. What else do we have for Leo here regarding their, uh, re regarding this uh, new moon in Pisces occurring on March 2nd, 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter signs. feel like you're opening up your heart space here um um leo look at that we have the three of swords in the reverse okay we have the queen of swords in the reverse so libra taurus energy libra taurus libra aquarius gemini we have the knight of swords in the reverse and the knight of wands so more air energy and with the knight of wands sagittarius aries leo and then we have the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles here. Both Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I really feel like you're taking a step back, trying to reassess here, okay? So I feel like there's this energy of perhaps not dealing with anyone at the moment, not communicating with anyone, but more so you're communicating with yourself, I feel. Yeah, we have the hangman here again. Yeah, we have, that observe is a hang, hangman energy. So I'm going to take this. I mean, there's this energy of definitely, you know, having some sort of awakening, you know, getting the answers that you're looking for, finding balance for yourself. We have justice here. Uh, Libra energy. Um, energies we have so far. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, okay? You could be dealing with any of those energies. Past, present, or future. You could have those energies in your chart. Knight of Swords in the reverse. I feel like you're trying to not... I feel like you're trying not to act impulsively here, too. We have the Seven of Swords. This is interesting. You know, I feel like you're... You know, you could be in, in this energy of no longer trying to sabotage yourself. Uh, perhaps, you know, in the past you've done that. But I feel like you're doing the work to really sort of raise, sort of to raise your vibration in your consciousness here. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is this Knight of Wands here? Knight of Wands and the Seven of Cups in the reverse. You know, I feel like you're definitely gaining some sort of clarity here for yourself. You really are. I mean, I feel like, yeah, your heart can't get any more open than that on how it is now and i feel like it's gonna open up even more um due to, due to the work that you're doing here uh queen of pentacles okay we have the wheel of fortune with the ace of wands and then we have the um chariot so i don't know if you're making a decision here uh, regarding, uh, you know, work or business here. You know, it seems like you have a business idea that you've been thinking about or that you had this idea for a long time and you want to pursue it. And I feel like you might be pursuing it with someone here with the King of Pentacles. You know, this could be also be, a, uh, you know, representing a relationship too, not just a business partnership, because we do have the King to the Queen of Pentacles here. So for some of you guys, if you guys are paired up, maybe you're partnering up with your, um, a partner uh, for, um, you know, to do business together. Or that it could just be, you know, two friends pursuing this. We have the devil here, Capricorn energy. This is really interesting. Mm, you know, maybe you're trying to take action to get away from someone here. This is interesting because we have the eight of swords. This people, this this people, this person makes you feel some in a way trapped. Okay, uh, perhaps there's no movement, and you're trying to take action to get away, maybe from a toxic situation. Could be a situation that you are in a business 
partnership with this individual sure um you know you might with the ace of wands here branch off on your own and do your own thing um but it seems like you might be you know perhaps removing some energies you know know your worth might be regarding perhaps there is a situation here where you know uh, regarding a, a relationship that's you know not serving you anymore okay and perhaps you're realizing your worth um what else do we have here tell me about the hangman the hangman and the world in the reverse i mean you could be in this energy of trying to move on here but we have one person that's not moving on i mean keep in mind this could be in, in a relationship this could be with a friend a family member okay a co-worker uh these are very general messages this is nothing specific like i said tell me about the justice card why is justice here we have the four of cups there's a lot of contemplation here okay there's a lot of contemplation here you know, and I feel like maybe you're opening up your heart space just to have love and compassion for this individual that you're trying to move on from, okay? So, and it's, so I feel like you might be dealing with someone here that has taken advantage of you, um, um, you know, in the past, recently here. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Seven of Swords and the Three of Wands. So... Leo, I feel like you're looking towards the future here. Tell me about the Seven of Cups in the reverse. Oh, oh, we have the High Priestess that jumped out. Cancer Pisces energy. You know, I feel like some of you guys, yeah, you guys are looking towards the future here. You guys are trying to do things that make you happy. You're looking for your freedom and your independence. We have the Ace of Pentacles here. So I feel like you definitely are in this energy of keeping... An open heart and open mind to start something new for yourself here tell me about the wheel of fortune in salons and the chariot yeah there's this energy of taking action and moving forward leo you definitely don't want to be stuck with someone here that's not conducive in in your own personal and spiritual growth six of swords Six of Swords, Three of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, you just don't want the drama. You're moving away from the drama here. Yeah, you definitely have drama with somebody, okay? Like I said, this could be with a friend, a family member, a partner, okay? Let's see what else we have here. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, the, no, the world in the reverse. You know, you could be in a karmic situation with someone in that you're trying to close this out. Uh, we have the five of cups. I mean, a karma, a karma could be with a family member, a friend. Four of cups here. Doesn't have to be with a lover. With the eight of pentacles. There is some sort of disappointment that something didn't work out. But I feel like there's this energy of definitely seeking a lot of balance here. I feel like you're trying to balance out all your chakras, Okay. Yeah, I really feel like you're trying to open up your heart space. Look at that. Ace of Cups here. This is Ace of Cups energy with this um, love abounds. Find that self-love for yourself. Flow. Yeah, I feel like you're just trusting the process here, perhaps. Even though you're maybe going through an, this experience here with someone, I feel like you're just trusting the process. Tell me about the Three of Wands. Uh, three of Wands and Eight of Cups. I mean, Leo, you're walking away from someone here for sure. Because you know your worth. Ace of Pentacles and the Nine of Cups. You had a Seven of Wands here. I mean, there's this energy of definitely defending yourself and perhaps putting up energetic blocks. Uh, perhaps you're blocking communication from someone here too. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. You have the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, you're you're withholding communication with someone here or that you're gonna ghost someone. Tell me about the five of wands in the reverse and then we have the six of cups here okay you know i feel like there's i feel like you're letting go of the past yeah it seems like a relationship didn't go well here you know you could be dealing with someone here that wants a second chance here you know whatever this is i feel like you're realizing that this person really stressed you out and th this person was basically a lot of work okay so leo 
I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.